I'm with uh, Betty Smith with Sauda County Daily News. And so again, pleasure to have the moment to talk to you today. Thank you. And so I'm going to uh, kind of toss this over to John and have him uh, give us a little uh, background, I suppose, and okay. we'll go from there. Okay, well, thank you, Betty. Thank, thank you for coming. Yeah. Uh, I am a lifelong resident of Sauda County. Um, I've lived here all my life, except for the time I was away in the Army and the time I was away at college. But otherwise, okay. uh, born and raised here, raised on a little farm on the other side of Wheelersburg in a little community called Garden City. Okay. And um, have lived in South Webster, though, for about 46 years or so. Um, I'm married, have three children, four stepchildren, three step-grandchildren, Aww. three other grandchildren <laughs> and so it's a big uh, get-together sometimes. Oh yeah, sounds yeah. like it. <laughs> yeah. And um, I went to Ohio University for my bachelor's degree um, and went into the Army after that and uh, then went to Ohio State University for a master's degree, went wow. to the Florida Institute of Technology for a, a doctorate in psychology and then went to Capital Law School uh, for my law degree. Yeah. That's so, a that's a big that's a big career behind well, you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and thank you for your service, by the oh, way. No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so now you're choosing to, uh, to run for commissioner. Correct. Okay. Yes. Um, in my careers that I've had, um, I've gotten up in the morning, gone to the office, mm -hmm. and uh, I've helped people. I've helped them one at a time. And they would come in, and I'd get out my legal pad or my worksheet, and I'd say, uh, what's wrong? Tell me your problem. How can we make this better for you? Right. And we'd go from there. And I've helped people one at a time. But now my law practice is winding down. Mm -hmm. And I say winding down, it's not the kind of job you can close the door on one day and never have to come back to the next. Right. But it is winding down. But I don't want to stop helping people. And this time, if the people of Sauda County give me the privilege, I want to help them 75,000 people at a time. Right. That's, the, um, that's the population of our county. So being the county commissioner, uh, I would hope would give me the influence, the ability, the position to help 75,000 people at a time. And wow. That's what, that's what I just, I don't want to quit helping people, mm -hmm. but, uh, and that's why I'm running. That is awesome. And here's the thing too, and, and, and you're saying the 75,000 people back in November, uh, I had the opportunity to be a part of the polls and we did the broadcast from, uh, the, the Portsmouth Tundra, I guess that's what you call it. Uh, okay. And, uh, there was a very low voter turnout. Mm. Um, so if I ask a question, it would be, how do you feel or how can you get that 75,000 people to turn out to these polls? Mm -hmm. You know, that importance, I guess, of the vote. They're going to have to see that it's important to them because mm -hmm. uh, uh, I and other candidates who are encouraging people to vote, we can only say so much, you know. Uh, right. So it comes down to the individual. Is this something worthy that I want to go to the poll for and cast my vote for? So uh, we need to encourage them. We need to tell them how important it is. And then... Leave it up to them. Right. Um, now, on some of the stuff I've, I've read uh, that you've already got out, um, and, and you, it's stating that you're running really on human capital. Correct. So do you want to go into that any further? Or? Yeah. Okay. Um, I've seen a lot of commissioners come and go, and I've seen a lot more candidates for commissioner come and go, and they all say the same thing. And, and they all say that we need jobs. I mean, jobs and more jobs. And more, you know, I vote for jobs. Right. Everybody does. But for decades, we've been going down in population. We've been losing jobs. Maybe there's another reason here. Mm -hmm. Strong headwinds that are keeping us from getting these jobs that everybody understands that we need. So if everybody yeah. understands that we need jobs, and if these candidates and commissioners say, I'm going to bring jobs to Sayota County, mm -hmm. why hasn't it happened? Right. And my belief is that it hasn't happened because of very strong headwinds that good, decent people are up against. And the strongest is, I believe, the subculture of drugs that we have in this county that's holding us back from 
the economic right. revival that we need here. Um, and uh, the, the commissioners that we have now are, are good people. They want to do the right thing. I have mm -hmm. no doubt about their uh, dedication to the county. Uh, one of them is a surveyor. That's fine. That has value. Mm -hmm. uh, the other uh, is a, a lady who worked in her husband's office, uh, managing the office uh, that entire career. That has value. There's nothing wrong with any of that. All those mm -hmm. people are, are good, decent people. But they're going down the wrong path. They're missing the big picture, I mm -hmm. believe, which is this strong, persistent, stubborn subculture of drugs that we have in this community. And we have to tackle that. The Board of Commissioners has never been a part. I don't see that they've ever been a very active part of this battle against drugs that we have in this mm -hmm. county. And I want to change that dynamic. I want right. to bring the Board of Commissioners into the battle, and it is a battle, it's a war. Yeah. The drug culture sometimes is very well armed. So mm -hmm. we have to be very careful what we do, but we have to be persistent, and everybody has to get on board. We're all in the same boat together, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Some of us might want a different color door. Some of us might want to <laughs> paddle along with our hands, you know? Right. Some of us might want to put a motor on this son of a gun and blast our way into harbor, but we're all in the same boat together. Yeah. And if the voters of Scioto County give me the opportunity to put my hand on the rudder, I'll say this one thing. Number mm -hmm. one, nobody gets thrown overboard. And number two, we're going to chart a course for the North Star. <laughs> which is freedom from right. another event. Freedom right. from this thing that's uh, that's in, enslaved us, this drug problem that's enslaved us. And it's sad that it's came to this. And yes. I appreciate you saying all that because um, I, I had told John behind the scenes, I've, I've taught driver's ed for over 27 years. Oh. And you know darn well, we have a class that teaches on drugs and alcohol. Oh, yeah. And I feel that even in our battle, sometimes these kids know more than we do. And I'll yeah. say that honestly. Yes. You know, So we have to come at it from a different approach um, yes. and, and that's the only reason why I'm bringing it up because he's here with it. And, and, and we talk about, I guess my main concern in class and, and, and I'm going back from a church upbringing, but we try to reiterate that self-worth. And, and like, like I said, we know that they're in, and especially in a County where it's been targeted city of the world. <laughs> and, uh, and I, and I do believe that we do have people around that is helping with that paddle that you're talking about. Um, probably not as much as we would like, or it's not making moves or waves as much as we like, but... In, in um, 2010, our county population was 79,000 people. Wow. And I remember when it was in the high 80s. Now this year, 2019, the estimated population is 75,000. Mm -hmm. We're going down. We're going down that way. We're going up in problems. We're number one in the state, 88 counties in this state, and we're number one of those 88 in drug overdose deaths when measured mm -hmm. per capita. Mm -hmm. More than Cuyahoga, more than Franklin, more than all these big cities. We right. are number one. There will always be people addicted to something, mm -hmm. but I don't want to be number one anymore. Mm -mm. Let's get it down to 44. You know. <laughs> right. You know. Put us at the bottom of the totem pole on that exactly. one. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that, that that issue, the subculture of drugs, is holding us back from, as I said, this economic revival that, that right. we want here. And I, and I know, and again, and I'm just speaking on my experience from it too, is that the um, we can all point fingers. We can all say how it began, and we all know that it ain't just one part. There was many parts that came to this. Yes. Um, yeah. So, and hopefully, because, um, you know, we can say mental health. We can say, uh, you know, just how different things have came together. Uh, uh, and, I, and, and I'm not trying to get on any big bandwagon here about this, but... Um, uh, military included, you know, they've had it in the news where a lot of them has gotten addicted to drugs because they came back and they're hurt or, you know, we have all these different crises going on that made this great big pile. We have, so. several, <laughs> we have several agencies in the county that speak to this problem, but they seem to be isolated somewhat. They, they, one of them is doing their thing over here and that's fine. Another one is doing their separate thing and that's fine. 
But maybe an issue is that they're separated. Maybe an issue is that we need a full court press bringing all these agencies together in some fashion and tackling this issue uh, uh, together. Yes. I have a little bit of a, I have a little motto, uh, solutions together. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe I can, maybe that's meaningful. To <laughs> I have another motto, um, bring back Scioto County. Bring back yeah. Scioto County. I remember a time my generation remembers a time, I know, when things seemed um, more tranquil, more, more stable, mm -hmm. more solid. You know, I mean, there were problems there that uh, we didn't understand about um, racism and, and environmental problems that we understand today. But back then, it seemed to me our communities were more solid, less broken. You know. Mm -hmm. And uh, the generation today doesn't see that, I think. So right. that's... Uh, that's an emotional issue right. for me, and I'd like to bring back Southern County. Um, two last things, because I know you yeah, have something yeah. else you want to talk about, and, and, and I'm going to kind of go on a positive note on this, too, um, and maybe get your outtake for the last, and, and we kind of talked about this behind the scenes as far as myself coming down here, and I've been trying to work on a lot of the positives in the county. Yeah. And so we'll talk about, like, the world-breaking event we just had in the, at Christmas um, and yeah, the, the plant for Portsmouth. That's so, great. you know, you see these outer, the outer stuff in the community where these people are coming together. So I exactly. hope that, yeah. Exactly. There are really good people in this community doing their best. But I believe that, this, as I described it, a strong headwind that mm -hmm. they've got to fight against. And until we get control of that, uh, I don't know what's going to happen then. Okay. Uh, so, uh, like you say, I, I think another, I think the county board of commissioners has another issue here, too. Uh, I want to bring them on board to, to fight this drug problem that we have, of course. Um, they have a mandate. The, the county commissioners has a mandate to oversee certain boards, a uh, board of um, children's services, for example, the board of developmental disabilities, for example, and, and other boards. Mm -hmm. I think what happens, what they do uh, is they, uh, and, and there are many qualified people on some of these boards, but there are other people that shouldn't be on these boards. They are friends or they have uh, connections or they're famous. Mm -hmm. Now, with all due and respect of friendship, um, connections and fame, that doesn't belong in a place that is mandated to uh, care for our children, for example, Children's Services Board. I think that was a big problem recently mm -hmm. uh, with this kid that gets murdered by a heroin addict and thrown down the well. You yeah. know? That's an issue. It seems to me that the board appoints people and then they walk away and they don't watch. They're not standing watch. They walk mm -hmm. away and say, here, do your thing. You're on the board now. We have to go to a ribbon cutting ceremony or something like that. Right. You know, so we need to, number one, with people who want to get on these boards, of course, we need to get a resume from them. We need to interview them and we need a police background check for every one of them that mm -hmm. gets on these boards. If getting a beer license requires a background check, mm -hmm. police background check, then it's good enough for the kids. Right. That's the way. Accountability. Yeah, absolutely. That's what it and, sounds, yeah. And, and I, they're missing their mandate of oversight uh, of these boards. And that's an extremely important thing I, that we need to push forward for. John, I appreciate your time today. I oh, mean, this is the uh, first time to meet you. I, yeah. <laughs> I know and, about uh, you. Really. Right, right. <laughs> That was nice to know. <laughs> and uh, so I, and I, and again, uh, to you, the viewers of Sider County Daily News, and, and I'm sure you might share this with your watch parties, um, take a look at uh, his history, his background, his, uh, and, and he is saying accountability. <laughs> and, uh, and if you have any final thoughts to go with that. I... <laughs> well, um, like, one of the things I just said, bring back Sioto County. Yeah. Let's make this a stable community where people aren't moving away, mm -hmm. they're moving back. And they're bringing their families and they're buying power with them because yeah. they feel their kids are safe here, mm -hmm. they feel they're safe here, and they feel their neighborhood is connected. The people yeah. that are moving away, they're not the drug addicts next door. Right. They're the families with their buying power and they're moving away. Let's reverse that. And we want that back, revenue, yeah. <laughs> bring back Sioux County. Thank you.